All right, so today uh, we're going to make it so that our bombs will actually destroy pieces. So, for example, before, if I swipe these two, I'm going to get that kind of bomb. And now I'm going to make it so that if I make a match with this piece, uh, it will actually... Okay, and now I'm going to make it so that if I make a match with this piece, it will destroy everything in a row. Just like that. So, um, stick around, feel free to ask any questions, and let's dive right in. Okay, so here's where we left off last time. Uh, we have everything set up for our bombs to start working, but they aren't working yet. So, for example, if I swap this piece into there, it's going to create a what would be a row bomb. But if I actually destroy it, it's not going to do anything. So we have to create the actual logic behind it, or at least the rest of it. We already have some of the work already done. So uh, let's dive in and let's get started. So what I'm going to be doing first is I want to go into the grid class and I'm going to create a couple helper classes in here. So um, I'm doing this way down here by where all my signal stuff is going. Um, just because I'm, I don't know, I guess I'm adding it at the end of the logic. So first I'm going to create a couple helper methods here. The first one is going to be for matching all in a column. So taking a specific column and then taking every piece in that column and counting it as matched. So I'm going to call this function uh, match all in column. And then this is, of course, going to need a column as an argument. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over everything in the height. So for i in height, and um, I'm going to check to see if that piece isn't null. So if all pieces column i is not null, so if it exists, then I'm going to say that all pieces column i dot matched is true. All right, cool. Now I'm going to make a, another little helper method for the rows. So, oops, same basic thing. It's just this time it's going to be uh, match all in row. So function match all in row. I'm going to pass in a row. This time, instead of going over the height, I'm going to go over the width for i in width. If all pieces, uh, this is going to be i for the column and row for the row, is not equal to null, then I'm going to say all pieces i row dot matched is true. Okay, so those are my two little helper methods. Now, um, what I need is after I'm finding all of the matched pieces, is I need a little method to go through and find all of the pieces that have been affected by the bombs. So to do that, I'm going to go up to, um, I want to find uh, the find matches routine, which is somewhere. There it is, find matches. So after I find all my matches, I'm going to add a little method here to find bombs. So function, um, did I already use find bombs? I think I might have. Yep, I did. So I'll call this one, I don't know, get bombed pieces. And what this is going to do is just going to go over all of the pieces and um, check to see if any of them are column bombs or row bombs. And if they are, then we're going to get all of those column pieces to be matched as well, column or row pieces. So for i in width, or j in height. Um, I'm going to check to see if that piece isn't null. So if all pieces i j is not null, 
and then I'm going to say uh, if all pieces ij dot is matched or dot matched is true um, so if it's matched then I'm going to check to see if it's a column bomb so if all pieces ij dot is column bomb then I'm going to match all in column and the column I'm going to pass in is I and I'm going to check else if all pieces I J dot is row bomb I'm going to match all in row and I'll pass in row J um, okay so is that all those yeah match all in column match all in row all right cool now I just need to call this method from um, I can either call it when I start destroying stuff or I can call it in my find matches at the very end of my find matches and I'm gonna do the end of the find matches so at the end of find matches I'm gonna do get bombed pieces and then I'll go through and see if anything is a column or a row bomb and set to currently be matched. And if it's a column or a row bomb and it's matched, then it should either destroy pieces in that column or pieces in that row. So I think that might be all I need to do for column and row bombs. Uh, adjacent bombs, there's something special for that, which I can address soon enough. So I'm just going to get a match for here. So I'll probably speed this up. Okay, so I should get a match for right here. So if I swap in, I get that. And I already can make a match. And there we go. Destroyed everything in the column. So cool. Um, let's make sure this is going to work for row pieces too. So I'm just going to play for a little bit until I can get a row bomb. So bear with me. I'll probably fast forward this. Okay, so... I'm going to match those, and that will turn into that, and I don't have another match right away for that, so let me work on that. Okay, so now I'm going to flip-flop these two, and there we go. Row worked just fine. Okay, so uh, our row and our column bombs are destroying like they're supposed to. Um, what we need to do next time is add something in for the adjacent bombs and then after that we'll do color bombs and then we can move on to something that isn't bombs so uh, thank you very much for watching you can ask any questions you want in the description down below you can follow me on twitter find out when i post new videos you can join my discord where i'm chatting every day and yeah i hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day